excited to share this with you because I designed this guinea pig sleeping bag years and years ago. I've been making them for years. And for some reason, all of a sudden it dawned on me, these could probably be made with two different fabrics. And think of how much fun you could have using coordinating fabrics. Oh, it is just such a neat thing. <laughs> and I wanted to share with you how to do it. So this video is tweaks on how to make something like this where it's reversible or aligned, whatever you want to call it. Actually, the original is reversible too, but it's the same fabric, so why would you <laughs> reverse it? Before we get started, I need to mention a couple of things. First of all, these are for personal use only, so you can make them for your guinea pigs, for your friends, if you know guinea pigs in need that might like to have them, but they are not for sale. The other thing I need to mention is that this is not a tutorial. This is just how to change the original in order to end up with something like this. So I will put a link to the tutorial in the description and you really need to follow that instead and then just refer to this one for the little changes to make along the way. There are just so many possibilities with this and knowing you can use coordinating fabrics. I just happened to have these two and the green matched the leaves so I was fortunate that I had them but this opens the door to so many possibilities and I'm really excited about it so I hope you are too and let's get to the tweaks. Here's where we do the first tweak. When you start off with the project, you're going to have this really long strip of fabric and you'll see how to cut that in the original video. But for this, because we're using two fabrics, we are going to make this half as long or wide, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's just going to be half the size. So I'm going to cut the fabric in half and to make it really easy, just fold it and then cut along this fold right here. You'll end up with two pieces, so if you want you can just go ahead and make two different sleeping bags right now or you can put it away for some other project. The next step is to take that piece of fabric that you just cut and use it as a pattern for your other fabric that you've decided to use. And I want to make them exactly the same size. Another change with this is that the turning area is going to be in a different spot. What I'm going to do is turn this into a tube. So I have put the fabrics right sides together. The wrong sides are on the outside. On one of the short ends, I need to leave a turning gap. So I've just marked that to help you see. You know, you can decide how big you want it to be. And I'm going to sew right here and right here. And then on the other end, I'm going to sew all the way down, not leaving any gap. The next step in making the bag is the unusual folding that is what makes this bag so unusual and easy to make. So I wanted to show you what you have to do, what's different, what to pay attention to when you fold this one. Basically, you want to start with it flat with one fabric on the top. It doesn't matter which one because the bag is reversible, so don't worry about that. And then you're going to be just tucking these in as you do with the other one towards the center. When you are all done, you should still only have one fabric on the top. Now this takes a lot of finagling to get right, so I'm not going to show myself doing that and waste your time, but you'll know from the other video how the folding works. Well, I'm done. I'm not a perfectionist, but this is probably the longest part of making these, is just trying to fold them till you get them as good as you can. But I wanted to show you what it looks like. It will have one fabric on one side and the other fabric on the other. And if you get it to look like this, then you have folded it right. The same as with the other one, I'm going to sew along these raw edges and I'll be back when I'm done with that. Hi, I'm back after sewing both ends and don't worry about being a perfectionist with this. Your guinea pigs will not care. Just make sure you go through all of the layers. The reason I'm back is because this is different from the original design and that there's no turning hole or gap on one side. Rather, it's inside of the sleeping bag. So it'll be on one of the two sides. You gotta just go looking for it. And when you find it, mine happens to be here, you just turn everything right side out and I'll be back to show you what that looks like. So here it is as a green sleeping bag with little hidden sloths inside, but of course you can turn it out the other way. I wanted to mention there will be a hole that you have to hand sew closed. My other video shows how to sew this closed so that there are no exposed threads for guinea pigs to chew on. I personally like it this way better with the 
design on the outside and the solid color on the inside. It just looks so cute. I was just so happy to think of this idea and I wanted to share it with you. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!